So, welcome to another Hannah Tank video, guys. We're gonna try and do this in the 16. See how it goes. This guy didn't want to use this, so I said, fuck it, I'm gonna take advantage of it, so. In prison at nerds. So I am interrupting the fiery enchant by the way. I'm gonna do in cap at Typhoon at Bull Rush or whatever I have to have t t to do. Um, I have the Rogues and the DH on the Confessor. This isn't this guy dude. You gotta be on the ledge my guy. There's a path available there. I ideally the priest would have gone like up to X on one of the ledges there and these juggernauts will not charge you if you have your healer go up there and everybody stacks in melee range and it won't ever it will won't ever charge so I'm trying not to like these videos aren't for like explaining like the basic mechanics this is more like how to deal with the tides and just like um certain routes and stuff. So this is one of the most important things that you can learn for yourself. Is getting good at hopping on these ledges. Because it makes the swords, they don't jump on anybody. They only like melee you. And it's pretty fucking pog. Heal up the bursting. Grab this one. And you can do this with pretty much every sword pack in here. Just like the angles of which can be strange. But I'm really just waiting for cooldowns. Because we use a bunch of cooldowns in that first pull. So I'm just watching them here. I got like a minute and a half on meta. So Just doing some trash. Killing some time. It's going to take a little bit of practice for you to get used to hopping up there, but... Now, things like this is one of the most important things. We talked about this in the freehold run. The emissaries are not exactly connected to trash pulls. They will aggro if you pull the trash around them, of course, because it's just, like, how the game works. But, um, if they're, like, enough out of range, they won't pull with it. So there's this one in here, and then there's going to be another one up by Priestess that we can do here, too. I probably should have pulled the Tides a little sooner, but it's fine. Razan's going to be at a good pat, so I can just meet him on the other side. Like, ideally, I, I, I would have made maybe, like, Typhoon the sword or, like, Vortexed it. To keep it back there so they could handle that and then I would go in on the tides, let them finish off the skyscraper. Um and then do that. But we're at a good pat here, so I'm gonna do this. We got cooldowns up or coming up right now. This is perfect. Dude. Perfect. Meta's up and all that shit. Easy heals. Just a casual 45k HPS dude, no big deal. Now, if everybody goes under the boss's nuts and the healer and you run out, you can pretty much bait this every time. Uh, it's pretty reliable. Just, uh, your DPS, like, literally have to be, like, right under his nuts. Taunt the boss, please! Alright. Um... If you have a DPS taunt for you when he's about half, like, if you're the one who gets f f fixated and you have somebody taunt the boss, he will not charge to you for the last three seconds of the fixate. Uh, it just kind of bugs him out. It's been like that since, like, launch. Alright, so look, it's on the 
Priest. He's got the debuff on him. I'm going to wait till he passes halfway. And I'm going to throw a taunt on the boss. And he's just going to stop right about here. And he's just not going to do the rest of it. He's just, just going to contemplate his life's choices for a moment. And how he let Yasma do this to him. But that's pretty much my favorite Razan strat in a nutshell. Talking easy, yeah? Oh, God. Nuke Void. Ignore. Sards till it's done. Use Darkness. Okay. So let's see if I can make this work. So I'm going to grab the swords. I'm just going to fall here. I'm not going to jump. I'm the LOS of the Void. They're nuking it down. And I just have to deal with these. Somehow my healer is dead though. But that's fine. I believe that they can nuke it dude. I believe. I'll be fine. So, But this is another yoink spot for these that I learned about recently actually. Uh, I'm pretty sure if people come down here with you, they will jump on them. Yeah, they will. But... This fucking rogue, dude! But yeah, it works. So yeah, I like it. Nice. Okay, so then we come up here. Because all this shit is dead. We're looking good on percent. I got this boy. We're gonna focus this boy. I'm gonna grab the shield bears too. This is the only trash I'm doing over here. So I may as well just do it all at the same time. There's no reason to stagger these pulls. The worst thing that you can do for yourself as a tank in keys is like the hesitation and just added up amounts of wasted time. So like, okay, like, do I want to pull that? Do I want to do this? Thinking about it. These are the only four mobs I need over here, according to the route that I made. So it's like, why am I going to waste time doing like two and two? I'll use my cooldowns here because I'm not really going to need them on fortified bull call. He's a pretty easy boss. I'm fortified, especially in like low keys. Um... Lust isn't up for three minutes, so it'll be a good time. Get some heals out for bursting. Shroud the boss. Stay left. You can also invis pot through this. Having Stampede and Roar is fantastic for this, but you, you, you can also just invis right past all this shit. Works the same as Shroud. I've been using more invis pots and things lately, because got a lot of trap rogues out here right now. You don't know what I'm saying, dude. Holy shit. Alright, three, two, one, we go. Now the main thing that you should be doing as a tank is always kicking this motherfucker, dude. Make sure these things get kicked so your DPS can just focus totems. Spread some damage a little bit. This guy looks like he needs a little bit of help over here. The other ones are getting wrecked. I'm watching the timer for the noxious stench, which is the thing that you need to kick. I'm gonna come over here. I'm gonna help this bro out. Keep some moonfires rolling. This is an interrupt that I need to get. You're always gonna get one stack of the dot re regardless, so don't worry too much about that. Just make sure you get that kick fucking ASAP, and it's just like a non-issue, so... I got a purple orb. Let's go kill it. Come on, boys. Kill, 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 kill. Very nice. And now this is just a kiting game, as I'm sure most of you know. As I said, I'm not here to like explain all of the mechanics. This is more just about like one of many, many routes that you can do in here. More so just Trying to spread some ideas for how to deal with em emissaries because there's a lot of different ways to do things. Uh, I wouldn't necessarily call them exploits, but you know, clever uses of the not completely designed game mechanics. <laughs> we'll call it that. <laughs> but you're just kiting around slowly. Fun fact for Tyrannical Keys, uh, the poison will eventually vanish, so if you're fighting this boss long enough, like, if all this shit weren't, like, I, 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 I could essentially come over here 
I start kiting down like this way. By the time I get to like about where this would be, this shit would be starting to vanish soon. You see what I mean? It's already going away. It's slowly vanishing. So you can really just do like a loop. Real easy. He doesn't hit very hard. It's a good boss to rotate cooldown zone, but make sure you hold on to one major cooldown. So, you know, if I didn't have a rogue, I would just pull this shit out to the right and die. Fine. I have to do it. It's fine. Fucking send rogues. Fucking sin rogues, dude. All these rogues that were playing Outlaw, now they're learning how to play sin, and they're like subpar at best. I hate to see it, dude. Anyways. No, don't be toxic. Don't be toxic. <laughs> oh, why did I thrash, dude? Where are these fucking boys at, dude? Gonna lust here, because this is a really good pull. It's a lust on a full fortified week. I'm wondering why our demon hunters are hitting things they shouldn't be hitting. Skulls. Oh my god, kicks. I'm gonna put a vortex on that. Or, you know, like on the ceiling. Wherever, it's fine. That's fine too. Okay. Uh, interrupts. Help, my guy. One of these demon hunters is not fucking kicking, and I'm pretty sure it's this fucking Valix kid. Hey, there you go. My guy. What a guy. My kick's coming up. I got this. Knock this. Try to keep the DPS from inting a little bit. There we go. Very nice. Now this is gonna be another little trick that I'm gonna show y'all. I'm not gonna... We're gonna eat the swords here, but it's in the interest of not pulling the tides. So look, back up, back up. Yo, back the fuck up dude, please. Oh my goodness, dude. This is another instance of where there is, there was one sword out of range of the tides. And seeing as this whole pack is linked, they will all come if I try to do that. Oh my god, please get this kick. Thank you. I really don't like people stunning the kicks on these things. I'd really much rather just fucking have it interrupted, dude. Like, that's how you scuff the kicks on these, is when people, like, chain stun them. All your kicks get used, and then he actually casts it, and you're just fucked, dude. It's awful. It's really a terrible way to go out. <laughs> now, there is another yoink spot... With a minor speed boost, you can jump right up here. Oh my god, come on, dude. I'll show y'all after. I'll, sh I'll show you after. You can just, like, hop right up there, though. So I'm gonna yoink these over here. Hop a little heal. Get this kick before anybody stuns it. Jesus Christ. Blast this. Make sure I live. <laughs> he jumped over here. What did he do? Fucking rogues, dude. And on Sanguine Weeks, I would do this. So as the pools would drop here, you jump over and the Sky Screamer will blink again across to you. Uh, so I'm going to play this safe. I'm going to grab this. And this, because somebody always fucking pulls it because they get too close. I, oh man, I want that orb, dude. Fuck. I'm gonna knock him. I'm getting the orb, dude. It's 533 Azure, dude. Of course I want it. Don't stun, just kick, you fucking rogue. I think I got it before he kidneyed, yeah. Dude, if I see another rogue spend five, com five combo points on a full kidney instead of doing damage, dude. I'm, I'm gonna give him some words, dude. Like, fuck, I'm so tired of seeing this. Four or five second kidney shot. It's such a waste of damage, dude. Oh shit, I don't want Roar.
Oh my god, come on, dude. And this is what happens occasionally. As long as you don't fall, if it takes you a moment to get out here, it's fine. It's for sure better than falling. Falling sucks. Ah, oh, shit. Couple of dash. And you can also LOS this right back over here, too, by the way. The void. Well, there's a spot there that you can LOS. I think because I was up behind the fucking thing, it didn't work. Oh, shit. Wow. This is a little scary. If we do this again, we're looking good on percent and time. CDs at big trash pack at top. Save for that, please. Stack. Use my big unbridled fury potions, dude. Rolling instincts here, because I'm only going to need one on the trash pull up top. I'm not going to need it on the boss. I got two demon hunters. They better fucking be purged in the claws. Nuke this tide down. Pog you, boys. And, alright, so I told them to stack here, because if everybody is in melee range, this priest is playing it dangerous, the augurs won't cast their fireballs. These can't cast the fiery enchant because there's no juggernaut around. They can only cast the enchant if they have a juggernaut um, in the pool with you. So, yeah, just if everybody's in melee, these boys just, they don't do shit. And now here's going to be another little helpful trick. Back up. Alright, so we're nuking Skull and then X. I'm pulling this boy outside of the Enchanted's bubble. And you see this? He doesn't come. So I'll engage him when I go to pick up the other trash. But not quite yet. Because I don't need him during this pull. I'd rather the healer just be healing. I got an end cap ready for the enchant. I got a big darkness. I'm gonna interrupt the fireball because I really don't want that to cast. I'm gonna end cap <gasps> the roar and the transfusion at the same time. Get fucked, dude. Um, you can see see that charge that he does if. Merciless assault shit. If you're quick enough. On a high enough key, I will like hold my GCD to do that. Um, just to make sure it gets done. Because I, it's obviously just best if you just. Vortex that bitch. Skull X. And this will be the last of the trash. I'm gonna end cap the transfusion. I'm gonna hold my GCD to knock the assault from the juggernaut. Easy game, boys. And then he just won't do it. Do I have anything up right now? I can bull rush the next one. Oh yeah, what you doing, brother? You ain't doing shit. And I can kick the fiery enchant. Love to see it, dude. I got no CC for this one though. He's gonna charge. I had to stop the transfusion there. YouTube video? Uh, yes, sir. Yeah, I, oh, I had a typhoon, dude. I didn't use it. Hate to see it. Alright, so I'm gonna pug. And I only have a blind. So we're just gonna kill the fucking ads. Instead of worrying about CCing them. One, I don't fucking trust rogues. And two, 
just makes pugs in this so much easier. I got a vortex for the first one. He's nice and slow. Hopefully Claws gets purrs. I'm gonna regen just in case. <laughs> God damn, brother. I'm gonna get near the pool is to give these dudes a fucking hint as to what they should be doing. I'm gonna get mine. I'm gonna wild grow with my party because this shit ticks a little bit. Look at that, dude. The rogue. You see what I mean, dude? You can't trust rogues. Oh my god. Inting, dude. He's inting. He's trolling. Can't trust rogues, dude. I got a typhoon ready for this boy. I'm gonna end cap this to slow him down. They're not Persian claws, so I'm just gonna heal through it. Whatever, dude. I'm gonna roar them. Maybe give this rogue another hint that he should be getting stuff. I want my orb, dude. I just want the orb, thank you. And I got a vortex for this one back up. And drop it. Just gonna kill the ad again. I'm gonna pop a regen this time because these dudes aren't Persian. Alright, there you go. <laughs> Yikers, dude. I got a fucking dot on me. Alright, nice. Give me that orb, dude. <gasps> Purple orb. Yeah. So much agility, dude. 13,300 agility. Is that too much? Is 31% base verse too much? <laughs> oh, no. That's because... Yeah, I have 28. I don't even have my food buff on right now, dude. Because these cucks. Shroud us into the boss. I'm not waiting for them. I'm gonna put a square on the rogue's head though, so he's easy, easy to see. He's lagging behind, of course, what a guy. I'm gonna get a food buff. And to Yasma. So, you know, everybody kinda knows this fight, dude. It's fucking easy. Just kite the boss around. Don't be where I'm trying to walk heels. This boy, three, two, one. We're not in Discord. Why am I counting down? It's gonna last now. Fuck, dude. Ads, ads are gonna get nuked. One of these nerds has an eye beam. Just waiting for it. Just watch, dude. Gonna roar them out. Hopefully, one of them will just hop back on the boss. Yeah, they got wrecked, dude. Back on the boss, nerds. Come on. And we just walk around in a circle. Rolling instincts here, because I don't have anything better to do right now. <laughs> Try to yank the kicks from the demon hunters. They don't need fury anyway. It's fine, dude. I'm going to vortex these ads. Oh, I stood on something. I stepped on a spider, dude. Oh, purple orb right in between two spiders. Ah, I got it though. Hell yeah. It's a whole bunch of agility, boys. It's like 1,040 something agility, I think. All right. 1,049 agility. Secrets of the Deep is like low key pog as fuck, dude. I like it a lot. Oh, and another wide orb. Look at that, dude. The Agi just keeps on coming. And it stacks as well, by the way. The big orbs and the smaller orbs, the smaller ones being the white ones and the, the higher stat orbs being the the purple ones. I literally told you not to be behind me, my guy. But it's all good. Um, the agility that you get from them, if you pick up a white and a purple at the same time, it stacks. Pretty insane. So we keep moving. Watch the spiders, boys. Balance loot spec, please. Yeah. I don't want a minus, dude. It's awful. And yeah, almost a two chest, dude. If the rogue, you know, did more damage, I'm mega low. Fucking offhand, dude. See it with a socket? <gasps> no, of course not. <gasps> no, two rings, no socket, dude. What the? Come on, dude. Where the socket's at? Nice, dude. Anyways, dude. GG, thanks.
Easy key. Um, there was something I was gonna do. Oh yeah. Oh shit. I I I only have a minute to show you. So look. <coughs> so there's a thing here. There's a yoink spot here. It's kind of dangerous this week because of the tides. Unless you have a druid, like a balance druid or a resto druid to keep it in a root. But uh, I have stampeding roar. You can maybe get a tiger's lust. Any kind of a speed boost will help get you right up here. And this is a yoink spot. Works just like all the ledges. It's the same thing here. The swords won't jump on anybody else, they'll stay on you, they won't do their poison claw thing on you, they only just stand there and melee you. Uh, I don't know if you can get up here without a speed boost, I've never really liked... Tr Seems like it would be annoying. I've never like... I've never had to do it like without roar, so it's like... It's a little bit annoying, I'm gonna get zoned out, but... You get the point anyway. If you can get some kind of a speed boost or walk in there on your own like I just did and just practice it so yeah is it reset all right it's reset so this is where like I've taken a friend or two in here or like even before you start the key you can just walk down here and just kind of practice this on your own so walk over here hop over here walk straight or some people like to walk up here and then backpedal works all the same and then just this is really easy enough to do it like take like 15 minutes and just practice like hopping around I just walk straight into it now, so. And just, uh, you know, like I said, just don't fall off and, you know, it's fine. <laughs> and then when it's sanguine week, when the swords die, you just walk off, the Sky Screamer blinks right off. It's real easy. Let's see if I can not kill him yet. So he's gonna come here, so we'll watch again. He just blinks. Every time. It's beautiful. But that's it. So. Uh, a Taldazar route for this week in a nutshell, and just uh, more general strats for... Um, emissaries and like knowing what you can pull what's not linked and things like that so uh hope it's helpful i just wanted to keep this like quicker and shorter than the other one um so i mean that's it uh hit me up in the comments down below with any questions comments concerns uh sub and like please of course if it's helpful um really helps uh the smaller channels like me kind of sneak my way into the algorithm so um let me know if there's anything you think I missed or any, anything else y'all need. Um, links to the Discord, the Twitch, all my Armory profile shits to see. Like, my logs are in the description. You can see my IO, my Armory. If you ever have any questions or you're just, like, curious what I might be wearing for the week, have a peek at that. But just be wary. When you look at somebody's gear on their Armory or their log page or whatever, um... Uh, they're not always gonna be like necessarily logged out in what they like wear in like high keys. Like I don't log out in like my high key gear like all the time. Like any like depending on the 18, but any like 19s and 20s that I may do this week, uh, I'm gonna probably be using Blood Frenzy. Um, uh, I'll probably be using, if I get up to 20s this week, I'll be doing Urchin and Edict together, most likely. Uh, I've got plenty of stats everywhere else, uh, to make up for things, so. I'm just saying, just, like, be wary of that. Don't just, like, take, like, what you see as what you should do. Try to, like, look through the context of it. So, like, if you go to, like, my IO page here. And you can see right here, there's a link to my logs page. 
So this is what I do. If I'm like questionable about some shit that I saw, I will update their page and you can see what they did last. So like once I, once I log out, this will update to like the keys that I did, the raid bosses that I killed tonight. Like everything that I did will be like right here in recent a activity, which you probably can't really see because of the cam. But here, look, recent activity. So look at what they were doing last before they logged off. And it could give you some context to why they might have been wearing what they were wearing. Um, just a little like side tip for if you want to check some people out or whatever. So, um, but that's it, boys. Thanks for watching. Hope it's helpful. And uh, I'll see you again very soon.